Lines at the banks are ridiculously long following an announcement that come next week Monday, no face-to-face -face transactions will be conducted. Now the bank has urged customers to make use of their ATM cards and online banking. Could it be that customers without ATM cards and access to mobile banking are fleeing to the bank to get their business in order? The St. Lucia Bankers Association recently shortened its operating hours in a bid to stop the spread of COVID-19. On Wednesday, March 25th, the association further revisited its measures to halt teller interactions and the processing of checks effective March 30th, 2020 to April 3rd, 2020. One day after the statement was issued, the public rushed off to the banks to conduct transactions. News Force caught up with one customer, Alwyn St. Omer, who said he was trying to beat the rush. So I um, trying to see what I can, what can I get done this morning. I almost went back home and I saw the length of the line. In fact, I was in the sun for a while. And as you know, the line extends way out. But what can we do? It's something that none of us are expected and it's something unusual and it's all for our own safety. So. Other guidelines issued by the banks include using ATMs for cash withdrawals. A number of transactions are now available electronically from wire transfers to online transfers and payroll processing. Since Omer says it's an unusual circumstance. If the bank closes some more, that's going to cause a lot of problems for people like me who, you know, get the NIS checks normally and my other checks otherwise, business-wise. It's going to be a problem. I do think you can do regular deposits and stuff like that. I don't know. Some customers believe the financial institutions should open periodically. I think the bank will have maybe take a, a one week hiatus and have to open up in limited amounts, maybe over one week, two week, and then I don't think the bank could stay closed indefinitely. It's going to be a problem. The banks continue to emphasize the importance of social distancing and staying at home to contain the spread of the virus. While the doors of the banks may be closed, the institutions will still be available via email, telephone and online channels. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.